Hi, my name is Ron Kane. I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Cascade Coffee. Cascade Coffee is a 40-year-old company. We're a coffee co-manufacturer here in Everett, Washington. We take coffee and package it into single-serve K-cups through 12-ounce bags, 20-ounce bags, 2-pound bags, uh, and then distribute them through a network for coffee partners. So currently we send our coffee to a lot of different countries, uh, primarily here in the United States. We also have partners in Canada and partners in Japan. The team's processes prior to uh, the installation of the robots was completely manual. Uh, they took the cartons off of the conveyor and then stacked them onto pallets uh, in configurations of 96 to 120 cases per pallet. The single largest problem that we had from an employment standpoint was finding the operators to hand stack the pallets. Uh, we had a turnover rate in excess of 60% for those operators and we had to train every single one of those operators almost every week. So we would have a new Sally or Joe on Monday and the next week they'd be gone but we still had to train them on the pallet configurations. We've got over 400 SKUs, we've got dozens of pallet configurations, so any one person learning them uh, just became overbearing and completely challenging, and it consumed a lot of our leadership time and a lot of our talented operators time. The simple manual processes were consuming just an immense amount of time to where machines would stop because operators actually couldn't palletize fast enough. Our real turning point was uh, dealing with the possibility of employee injuries we looked at many alternatives as far as pallet lifters, hydraulic air, and they really weren't feasible because we move our pallets with pallet jacks, not forklifts. So using something like a robot allows us to keep the pallets on the floor, utilize our existing tools to move the pallets, and reduces the chance of somebody being injured by doing a repetitive task. The process really involved reviewing quite a few other companies out there that create robotic palletizers, both Cobot and non-Cobot. In my previous factories I've worked with, we had uh, large industrial robots and the kinds that were behind the safety cages. Um, a lot of the challenges were the amount of time it took them to get installed and programmed and then the specialty work that needed to be done by the integrators that you couldn't do at a factory level. Um, so we didn't want to spend, frankly, a million dollars to put in a high-speed robot with all the safety guarding, um, knowing that our workforce doesn't have the technical capabilities to work with those types of robots. So that's where a collaborative robot really met our needs, knowing that we could do it, didn't require special safety guarding, um, so any employee can walk up to it without fear, uh, literally, and the fact that they're so easy for us to program. A couple of the things that made the Robotique palletizing solution stand out, one, the coordinated motion of that seventh axis, the reduced time it's gonna take to stack your pallet because the robot doesn't have to stop, raise up to the next height, and then continue. The other thing is, Robotique uses a fixed mass. So there are far fewer moving parts than their competitors that use a telescoping mass. Plus the fixed mass is far more rigid than a telescoping mass is, especially over time as the guides on that telescoping mass start to wear. Um, the mast on the Robotique robot requires very, very little maintenance. It requires lubrication once a year and very little at that. The palletizing solution can stack to a pretty high pallet level compared to uh, competitors, uh, especially when you think of Japan, that's going on a container ship. So you have to cube out for expense. The Robotique solution can meet that requirement. Um, and equally important, the fact that everything is easy to get if we break something. The fact that we could call and get a replacement part extremely quickly was critical because I don't want somebody to have to hand stack a pallet because it's gonna take a month to get a part from somewhere else. The timeline for our first one was really tight. Matt and Gina from Olympus Controls came out and worked to get the first robot up and running. Uh, and realistically, within a few days, they had it assembled and started programming different pallets, different configurations. We ran 
probably seven pallets that day just watching, just seeing like what little things pop up and uh, how can we avoid those things happening. So we put in some uh, logic to make sure that the vacuum gripper where there's not a good pick, the customer has a solution built into the program already. Uh, it was just two and a half days. First day was just mechanical install. Second day was programming and software and debugging. And the third day was really just training and getting everyone up to speed on it. Olympus Controls did a fantastic job walking us through everything that we could expect, how it would work, who the people would be here um, to put them in, and for lack of a better term, real white glove service. They really held us by the hand and said, this is what's gonna be, and then they lived up to it. Whenever we had questions or possibly needed changes, Robotique and Olympus were able to communicate rapidly and come up with a solution for us in a very short amount of time. Having a good first install and working really well, we are we saw like an immediate like positive reaction from everyone in the factory floor. Like people were coming up to us and saying like, "Hey, this is great. I don't have to do this anymore." And anytime we had to pause the machine, they were kind of like they felt, you know, the uh, downside from it. The solution that we implemented saved the labor problems in that we were able to remove a number of jobs. Um, we didn't remove any headcount uh, because we didn't have the headcount, quite frankly. Um, but it allowed us to not have a very manual job um, that was typically filled by temporary employees. Um, these became employees that we couldn't find in the regular labor force. All of our operators are very comfortable working with and around the robotique palletizing solution. They can recover from situations that they might run into very easily. and they can learn the robot easily. They, we have operators, we'll show a brand new operator before we have a chance to train them how to work the robot. And, and usually that takes them five minutes or less and they're off and running. How we perceive the robots in our factories almost like another person. If you probably already heard, we have names for all of them and they're definitely part of the team of each work cell. My life has changed ever since we have staggered stacks. I'm able to move around and check my bags and help the computer over there too. And by the time I'm done over there, my stacking is done already. Much better. We knew it intuitively when we bought the first one, but the speed with which we were able to see that we would not have to have a secondary operator or someone dedicated to that robot, that it truly was completely autonomous but yet collaborative in that we could get close to it. We didn't have to worry about it. We were actually able to not have that staffed employee there. Did the math pretty easy for the rest of them. Gloria is one of our operators. She's here on first shift uh, running line six. Um, Gloria started as what we called an end liner, which is now what our robots are. Um, the robotic solutions do that part, but she started and we had a lot of employees that would work as end liners for a very long time. It was one of the lower uh, paid jobs in the position or in the factory. Um, since we've installed um, the Robotique Solutions, Gloria has been able to go and learn um, how to run the midline and the filler. Um, so she's got a more technical job set now. She's also been able to increase her wages because she's got the more technical position. The robots uh, made the factory safe in the very simple way is then that people didn't have to ergonomically twist and bend and put the cases down. We just recently had uh, an audit from a safety, um, a governmental safety group here in Washington State, um, and they had never seen collaborative robots. So it was the first time they had seen them. They were very interested um, and obviously a little bit disarmed at first um, because they're not used to seeing robots, but we were able to show them exactly how they work from a safety perspective, how you can stop them, how they don't move. Uh, they went away pretty happy. As a co-manufacturer for coffee, we've got over 400 individual SKUs. We've got dozens of different pallet configurations. And now with the collaborative robots, the speed with which we can change over, you lose no time. Uh, it's continuous motion manufacturing. It's hard to keep up. And when you do a small case, it's a small carton, it's really, really fast. And so to have, not have to put a person down here and not have that person when we didn't have enough running back and forth, huge. Line 102 Jarvis will deal with about 2,500 boxes in a day. The one that's right across the street from them um, will do about 6,500 boxes in a day. Uh, that's the, the high speed one. We're installing one. Um, the machine is on order. Um, and we'll be setting it up for a new customer and it'll do about 7,500 uh, boxes in a day. 
A day for you is a 10 hour shift? Day for us is uh, two 10 hour shifts, but we have lunches and breaks. So there's about 18 hours of actual coffee manufacturing and throughput. This is Jarvis, we love him. <laughs> and it has simplified the whole end line process. Um, it's made it very easy for us, very efficient. Uh, we, we know we have two pallets we can fill before we have to move it. Uh, it. It just really helped us out a lot. We don't have to use as many people. Um, it, the physical part of it is taken away that part too. So now we just have to concentrate on our midline. And so we bought uh, the robots from an investment standpoint, we bought them in two bunches. Um, we bought line 102, the cup line Jarvis uh, first. Um, that was our trial robot to make sure that financially it would work exactly as we thought it did. Um, the ROI on that individual robot was about 13 months um, based on the amount of runtime. Then we bought the next five um, and that ROI for the total package was uh, less than 11 months. Um, based on our runtime. So we'll have all of these robots uh, completely justified and paid for in about three months. The ROI was a slam dunk from the beginning when we put that in on how much labor it saved. And then the process as it was installed was the smoothest install of any piece of equipment that I've ever gotten to put in in 28 years. So it was quite fun to be a part of that. Robotique lives up to exactly what they promise it to live up to, which is collaborative robots that will make your manufacturing process better, easier, and safer. Um, they make the integration flawless, the equipment. We've had zero issues from a maintenance standpoint. They do exactly what they say they're gonna do, um, and they've made us a better factory just by them being here. But it really made our operation more efficient. That's the and it's true, I have recommended Robotique to multiple uh, coffee companies.